Okay, we are gonna show you how to make an inside the waistband holster using a swift press, but without having a split mold or some other flat mold um, to access. And we will make a successful inside the waistband holster using yoga mat and the swift press. This blue foam that we use to help with the molding, we get from Walmart. This is actually yoga mat. It comes in a big roll at Walmart in the sports and fitness section. And this stuff is half inch thick. So I've got one on the bottom that creates my base layer and make sure that you have a hole in it that goes over the suction hole of the Swift press or whatever other flat press you're using. That is what's gonna give you um, the vacuum suction that you need. And then we've taken this piece and actually cut the shape of the gun into this so that the gun fits nicely and securely in it without any get gaps around the edges. Here I have the a little Taurus 380 and we cut that foam to fit right around it without any gaps built up for a sight channel here and taped it all up but it fits nice and securely with the mag in place. Having this second layer of foam over your base is what's going to give you a 50-50 split. So it will actually turn out to look like this, where you've got half of the holster on one side of the trigger guard and half on the other. Um, if you wanted to do blocking or something, you would take this part away, put in your Oh, excuse me, this part, put in your blocking for retention space or whatever you want. So you could just cut that out and the rest of the holster would still press the same. Getting ready to bring the Kydex out of the heat press. When you go to lay this in here and then wrap the Kydex around it, what you wanna make sure is that the tallest part of the gun is sitting over that hole that you created here for suction. You don't want that to be plugged up. So you wanna kind of put that there to create that gap so that when the vacuum actually sucks and presses down, you still have air coming out of that and that's what's gonna give you your nice seal and create um, that same type that you would get from a membrane former. We're just doing it here on a swift press. The foam that we use over the top after you've got your Kydex laid in here and you're ready to create that suction, we use our uh, thin quarter inch black foam that we sell on the Holster Builder website. It's larger than the whole mold, so it actually lays down, and when you put this down on top of it, that is what creates your seal, and then you turn your, your vacuum on, and it creates the suction. Okay, so the Kydex is hot. Pull it out. Making sure that there is a hole placed over the center where the suction comes from the swift press. And just pull it tight around the gun there. Lay down the thin foam that we have. And put that down to create the suction. All right, so it's been in the press for a few minutes, probably cool enough here, so I'm gonna open this up. Take off this uh, foam that creates the seal, and there it is. This same method with the foam on the Swift Press will also work for outside the waistband holsters. So here, uh, if it was heated, this would go down as my back piece. Then you would put the gun in and imagine this Kydex hot so it would already be sinking in. Put your gun on, take your top piece that's already hot, put it on top of it, and then just make sure your foam is larger than whatever you have laid down here on your swift press. Put your foam down and your, um, your frame and you're gonna create suction. For these tiny guns, you don't need this much Kydex. So you could cut it here. You could cut this here before you put it in your heat press, size your Kydex down if you want. Then you won't have the spillage over and you'll get a really nice seal and be able to make an outside the waistband holster. I think this method probably will limit you to um, compact and subcompact size frames. I'm not sure that you would get a full size, you know, Glock 34 or maybe even the 17 may not fit all the way on this method, but it still gives you the option to Purchase a swift press, start with this, um, use some guns that you already have, and then work your way up to split molds and butterfly molds and things like that.